Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at altitude, medians and perpendicular bisectors with coordinate geometry and how the triangular triangle properties are going to come into play. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to look at three things here, uh, altitude, median and perpendicular bisector inside a triangle. So looking at first, altitude is this red line here. So, I mean, if we want to find the area of this triangle, you'd have your base, and then altitude is the same thing as height of the triangle. Okay, now if you look at um, median, to find the median, what you need to do is you need to find the midpoint first, and then from the midpoint to the opposite uh, vertex is going to be the median. So, as you can see, the two red lines here means that this, this part here and this part here is going to be equal and the median is the line that <clears throat> excuse me connects the vertex to the midpoint on the opposite side and as for the perpendicular bisector bisector means cutting the line in half so if I was to have a look at these two things I need to cut the line in half and then draw a perpendicular line so cutting it in half and that's what my perpendicular bisector is going to look like okay so yes there can be situations uh, where you could potentially get altitude median and perpendicular bisector all in the same line um, i think that's if you work with an isosceles triangle with a 45 degree isosceles triangle you'll end up with that but that's for later so right now remember that you have three properties altitude is the height median is from the vertex of the corner um, from the vertex to the midpoint of the other line and then for the perpendicular bisector, it's basically a line going through the midpoint at a perpendicular, as a perpendicular line that's going through the midpoint. Cool. Let's have a look at some uh, questions. So, in this question, I would like to find uh, what am I looking for? I'm actually looking for the altitude. All right. So I know it's the altitude because I can kind of see that it's not really in the middle. Um, so it's not a perpendicular bisector nor is it a median. So how am I going to work out the altitude in this case? Now let me do the first thing. I'm going to call this point D here. So how am I going to find the altitude? When I say how am I going to find the altitude, I'm actually looking for the equation of the altitude. All right, so to get started, to find the equation of the altitude, what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a gradient. All right, I'm going to need a gradient and I've got a point which is B, so that's fine. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what gradient of AC is. So I'm going to work out uh, gradient of AC. So that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now looking at the points I've got here are 9, 5 and in this side I've got 2, 4. So my gradient is going to be 5 minus 4 divided by 9 minus 2. So my gradient is 1 over 7. So, because AC's gradient is 1 over 7, now to find the perpendicular lines, which is BD, so gradient of the BD equals negative 1 over gradient of AC. So, I'm going to have negative 1 divided by 1 over 7, which means the gradient is equal to negative 7. Now, I already have point B, which happens to be 4, 8. So I can actually work out the equation of the altitude in this situation because my gradient of BD equals negative 7 and I'm going to use point B which is 4, 8. So putting this all in an equation, uh, this is equation of a line. So Y minus 8 equals negative 7 times X minus 4. I've got Y minus 8 equals negative 7X plus 28. Rearranging this. I have negative 7x plus 36. Okay, so this is the equation of the altitude in this for this particular question. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to work out, uh, well, I don't know which one is popping up, but whatever it is, we'll work through it. All right. So in this one, it looks like we're going to work out uh, the equation of the median. All right. So, now I'm, I'm going to use the same triangle, guys, just to make things a little bit easier here. 
All right, so I already worked out what the gradient of AC was from the previous question. So gradient of AC equals negative uh, one over, uh, sorry, positive one over seven. But is the gradient going to be any use in here? Well, it's not. For starters, this is not a perpendicular line. So I don't really need a gradient of um, AC in this case. But what I do need is I, I need point D, all right? And point D is the midpoint between A and C. So to work out point D, I've got uh, x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. Now my two points, as usual, I've got C as 9 and 5, A as 2 and positive 4. So putting this together, I would have 9 plus 2 divided by 2 and 5 plus 4 divided by 2, which means I've got the points 5.5 and 4.5 as the point D. Now, I also have point B. Point B is 4 and 8. So at the moment, I've got point D and I've got point B. So I need to work out gradient of BD. Once I get gradient of BD, I can use one of the points to substitute and find the equation of the line. So I'm going to find gradient of BD. So that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now y2 in this case, I'm going to use 8 minus 4.5 divided by 4 minus 5.5, which means I have 3.5 divided by negative 1.5. Now I'm going to simplify that to negative uh, 7 over 3. So that's just a nice number to work with for me. All right, so I've got the gradient of BD, uh, and I'm trying to work out the median, which is BD in this case. Uh, I'm trying to work out what the equation of that line is. So uh, I've got my gradient, which is gradient of BD equals negative 7 over 3. And then I've got a point, which I'm going to use, which is going to be B. I'm going to use 4, 8. So therefore, I can put this as my equation. Well, not y2, sorry. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I've got y minus 8 equals negative 7 over 3, x minus 4. And I have y equals negative 7x over 3 plus 28 over 3. And then rearranging this, I would have... 28 over 3 plus 8. Simplifying this further, uh, I should have 28, 24, 24, and 28 is going to be 22, 52 over 3. Okay, so that's the equation for the median in this case. So we can actually say equation of BD equals negative 7 over negative 7x over 3 plus 52 over 3. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be looking at perpendicular bisector, guys. So, what do we know from here? And I guess with this one, we kind of we kind of need a gradient of AC, so which we already have from the first slide. Gradient of AC equals to positive 1 over 7. We also know what point D is from the previous question that we did. So point D was 5.5 and 4.5. So the equation for the perpendicular bisector is just using these things. So I've got the gradient. Oh no, sorry, I need gradient. The perpendicular gradient. So what you can write is, let's see, perpendicular gradient for AC. I can actually write it like this. is negative 1 over 1 over 7, which means negative 7. All right, so I've got the perpendicular gradient, which is negative 7. That's this black line here. Now it's just constructing the equation. So I've got y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And I already have my points, which is 4.5 and 5.5. Gradient is negative 7 x minus 5.5 so 4.5 negative 7x plus 
38.5 and then y equals negative 7x plus 38.5 plus 4.5 and so the equation for the perpendicular bisector is going to be 40 uh, negative 7x plus 43 okay so that's basically it for this session guys so we've covered um, three things here altitude median and perpendicular bisector uh, and this is working with triangle properties okay that's it for this session folks uh, if you have any questions pop it in the comments and i'll try and get back to you all right thanks for watching guys